Hey, yo, it's your boy, Carl Anthony, man. We locked in. It's due season. And um, today, real quick, man, five steps to um, self-improvement. You know, so as a man, as a human being, it's, it's, it's important to always make improvements. And the way you can do that is, you know, it's a few things. And I'm just going off the cuff right here. So I didn't write anything down. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, freestyling. So um, number one. Write your goals down, right? It's a new year. Everybody tends to do New Year's resolutions and things of that nature. Um, but you should just be doing this on a daily basis anyway. You should write your daily goals down, right? Um, <clears throat> goals are something that you can attain. Goals are something that, you know, you can mark off and you can see your accomplishments, right? And it builds character. It builds discipline. It builds um, uh, the confidence that you need because if you complete your goals and you can look back and see, man, I actually was productive, right? Um, it does something to your brain. It sends you endorphins and it tells you like, man, I can, I can do more. If I did this, I can do more. So write your goals down. And, um, you know, most of the top producers and, you know, millionaires and billionaires, that's what they do, man. They write down daily goals, man, and they check them off the list. So... Write your goals down. Uh, number two would be pray, meditate. And this is not in direct order, so I'm not saying that one is more important than the other, but pray and meditate. Pray or meditate. I don't know your, your religious beliefs and what you believe in, but it is good to meditate, clear your mind, um, think about one thing, focus, and pray to the Most High Creator. Um, or whoever you believe in. Um, and something, it's just something kind of, like I said, a daily habit and a daily practice that can just, you know, have a lot of enrichment for your life. You know what I'm saying? So you want to pray and meditate. It gives you a sense of peace um, and purpose. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of faith and things like that. So, man, pray and meditate. Number three, health. Now, this is, I said health because that's a blanket, you know, term. And so that means eating right, fasting, and exercise. Those three things. Eating right, fasting, and exercise. What you need to do is make sure that you try to eat as clean as possible. Um, even if you cheat, have a cheat day, you know, Make don't make it a full cheat day, especially if you got a lot of, you know, weight to lose or you know you're trying to really focus on some kind of specific you know cut diet or whatever the case may be. You know, in order to get your discipline in order, you might not want to have a full cheat day. A cheat meal would, would suffice, and then just get right back on. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to do something a little more powerful and a little more challenging, fast. You know, whether that's intermittent fasting, 16 hours fasted, eight hours eating window, or 20 and four, or one meal a day even, you know? Um, or just full out fasting, you know? 72 hour fast, which is three days, 48 hour fast, or just 24 hour fast. Whatever you you know, whatever thing you think you can handle, and whatever you want to challenge yourself with, um, fasting creates what they call autophagy and it helps you rebuild and repair rebuild and repair your cells and it speeds up your metabolism and it helps you get in ketosis you know so ketosis is when you use your you know your fat your stored fat as energy instead of carbs um, so and then exercise man every day you should be going to the gym uh, doing push-ups doing planks, doing whatever, you know, uh, jogging, running, walking, you know, get your 10,000 10, steps in and just have some kind of daily routine of some kind of form of exercise. Keep your body, you know, stretch every day. Keep your body limber. Um, those are some of the things that you can do to, to enhance your life, right? So um, that was health. Um, number four, like... Stop the frivolous spending, right? Now, if you look out through your day and you just think about 
on a daily basis, how much money do you spend? If you got big financial goals and you're saying, man, I don't know how I'm going to get this kind of money or this much money, right? You got a $10,000 goal to reach, right? You want to you wanna save up $10,000 for whatever reason, to start a business, to um, buy a piece of property, whatever the case may be. Um, if you look at what you're spending your money on, right? Stuff that you don't really need, like fast food, um, lattes from Starbucks, that's me. <laughs> um, whatever, you know, candy, just whatever, whatever is not necessary that you can actually pass on. You know, I'm not saying don't ever treat yourself. I'm saying, you know, set some boundaries, you know, reduce the amount of spending you have. Right. Cause if you do reduce the amount of spending, you can save more. Right. And, oh, if you didn't see my video a few days ago, Saturday, um, you know, I started the saving challenge. You can check out that video, join in on the saving challenge. I started my first day of saving last this past Saturday. Uh, I'm doing like the $20 compounded per week. Um, so check out that video. If you feel like doing that, you know, let's do that together. And, you know, save some money, man. Like really think about your spending, man. If you need to take a lunch to work, um, do some more cooking at home, whatever the case may be, do it. It's important, man. I'm telling you, you'll see things change in your life. And like I said, when you build discipline, you create freedom, period. Because financial freedom is everything, you know? So think about you, you having a surplus of money at the end of the, the month or the week or the year. And stuff that you never really have, you know, uh, normally. So saving your money will help. You can invest more. You can you can do something with it, something that can help circulate the money. And come back to you. So, um, and number five, number five, number five would be for me reading books um, or doing some form of uh, or reading books and taking breaks from social media. Now, the reason why I put those two together is because a lot of times, you know, we, we you know, I'm, I'm a YouTube addict, I, I must say, self self-proclaimed uh, YouTube addict. I watch YouTube all day long. And sometimes I find myself not being productive because I'm watching YouTube. And I used to try to validate it by saying, well, I'm learning something. But it doesn't mean anything if I'm not applying it, okay? So after you watch this video, do something productive. And if you use that, something productive could be reading. If you don't read a lot, you know, get away from the screen, man. Take the screen away. Get off social media, get off Instagram, get off Twitter, you know, get off Facebook, pick up a book, learn that way. And the reason why, it, it really does something different in your brain. It, it really um, helps you to uh, keep your, your brain sharp and think better and think clearer thoughts. While you can get foggy from all this blue light from the phones that we tend to look at all the time. The screen time is crazy out here. So... I would say reading books and taking breaks from social media. Now, you, I'm sure you, if you, you know, you're doing some kind of business, your, your livelihood may depend on social media, which is cool. But you can post, you can reply back to comments, and then you can jump off, okay? Don't dedicate your time to just scrolling through and looking at other people's lives, especially if you're dealing with, you know, trying to, you know, improve yourself. Because if you start comparing yourself to others, it's not going to help you. You know what I'm saying? So, look, those are my five tips. Um, leave a comment. Hit that like button. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'll see you tomorrow. For real. I'm doing this. I'm working on this everyday thing, man. For real. This consistent grind. Trying to build up this channel. So, man, share this channel with somebody else, man. If you know somebody who needs to hear some of the things that I'm saying who uh, can join in on the movement, you know, let's lock in, you know, because it's due season. It's your boy, Carl Anthony, signing off. Peace.